Welcome to Wiki Roulette, where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Jake. And uh, we are back again for another spin of the wheel on the infinite knowledge train that is Wikipedia. Oh, I hope we get something about the uh -oh. religion of Zoroastrianism. McCoy, Oregon. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, it was named after landowner Isaac McCoy. Its post office was established in 1879 with James A. Sears as the postmaster and closed in 1968. Is that? That's the, uh, that's, welcome to McCoy, Oregon. We used to have a post office. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm just going to draw what I think James A. Sears, the postmaster, looks like. <laughs> Who dares disturb the postmaster? Just, just the saddest husk of a man. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, just, he's still breathing, but he is desiccated. Yeah. Like, I don't think any... Does anyone live in this town <laughs> other than him? It doesn't it's, tell you. It's, <laughs> it's not a town. It's an unincorpor it's unincorporated. There no, are no laws. It's a community, though. It's an unincorporated community. That's, I mean, I can't. I don't know what that means. What is, it's named a, after, I. so like Isaac McCoy bought some land and was like, I call this place McCoy Town. Like it's yeah, it takes balls. So it's not it's not part of America technically. <laughs> it's I un, mean, it's unincorporated. It's unincorporated from America. Yeah, that's how. That's not in. No, I'm not gonna mm -hmm. yes there. and this at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jake, we, we I think say that's some what pretty <laughs> not true things on this show, but this one really takes the cake. So you you imagine that uh, the postmaster of McCoy, Oregon, is some kind of like uh, a puppet yeah. dictator? Yeah, being controlled by Isaac McCoy <laughs> from behind the scenes. But they're also the only two people in McCoy, Oregon. <laughs> Our enemies surround us. <laughs> no, nobody knows we're here. <laughs> yeah. Soon, soon we will lay waste to the armies of Wyoming. <laughs> Of, of, like, another unincorporated <laughs> community in Wyoming. <laughs> it's just, like, another person's last name. Jefferson, Smith. Wyoming. <laughs> that that was the fun part of America back then, is that you could just find a place <laughs> and just be like, well, this is Me Town, USA. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, an entire tribe of Native Americans living there. It's like, no, no, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure this belongs to me now. Oh, my God. All right, well, if you were, like, the, the sole it's single tyrant of your own town, what would be, like, your first law? Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, right? No, no tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> those, are my, those are my house words, and... Uh, what a golden society. Yeah. <laughs> Just... If you want tomatoes, you can you can find them in the next town over. But we don't got, bring them in here. We've got pretty strict border regulations, so. <laughs> but like, I can imagine it's like a weird footloose kind of situation where like all the teenagers oh, in Yaffe, Wyoming. <laughs> yeah, there's only that's the only way to make tomatoes cool is by making them illegal. <laughs> Dude, I got some Heinz. <laughs> you gonna go get Heinz later. <laughs> Cheese it, it's the mayor. Do I smell hunts? <laughs> Why would you get hunts? I didn't raise my daughter to be a marinara trollop. <laughs> Jake, Jake you, you, you got the part. You got the part of, of, the, of the father of the main female protagonist. <laughs> And nailed that's that, when, uh, that's when Jacob that comes in with his bushel of tomatoes and rogue <laughs> and yeah. roguish ways. And my leather jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Red leather jacket. Did somebody say marinara? <laughs> <laughs> I eat a mozzarella stick <laughs> out of a cigarette pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have mozzarella sticks, but you got to dip it in pesto. <laughs> What, what about you, Jacob? What is what is the law of your of your ironclad community? Uh, the uh, the law of my community. Uh, first law: no bummers. No. Bu <laughs> if, you're, if you're a bummer, you got to get out of here. I'm sorry. No bummers. I, oh no, I just have the idea of you just like putting sad people into buses. <laughs> it's just really sad. And then they get more sad because and they have to leave. Then they're an even bigger bummer, and they really got to go then. <laughs> Or else they start infecting the others. <laughs> Please, no, my daughter. 
yeah, she's been through so much. Like, yeah. Hey, bro, you know, just got to deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, not my problem. I'll tell you what is my problem, though. Bummer. You being a big bummer. <laughs> Jake, what, what I feel like uh, you 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 must you must have had one in mind when you when you asked this question. Oh no no! Uh, I, <laughs> you, oh, uh, everyone has to gather in the town square on Saturday mornings and watch cartoons together. Aww. Oh, that's an adorable. Yeah, that's law. really that goes right hand in hand with. But my I choose which cartoons. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one touches the remote. If someone dares what? question SWAT cats, they go into the bus. <laughs> oh. It's the same bus. It just yeah, goes from town to bus. town. It takes all the tomatoes, all of the bummers, and all of the not SWAT cat people, and brings them to productive society. Guys, if you're if you're watching this on YouTube right now, just click out and watch an episode of SWAT Cats. They're all on YouTube. Actually, just watch the intro to SWAT Cats. That's awesome. Because it's pretty much the raddest. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever wanted to see some muscular cats that are mechanics but also have gyrocopters, you know, flying around. Being cool. Here now's the time. That's the show for you. Oh, you Nathan, are. what a beautiful postmaster. Yeah, he would not be allowed in in uh, in Jacob Andrewsville because no, he is a, he's a big bummer. he's a huge bummer. <laughs> um, all right, that's McCoy, Oregon. That's the spokesperson <laughs> for McCoy, Oregon. Uh, you know what? He's got like a little he's got like a little flag. Like McCoy, a little, little, Oregon. Little battle. He's got standard. a tumbleweed. <laughs> Do you think the flag of McCoy, Oregon is? It's just a. Uh, it's. Oh, that's there's two. Uh, just a dude shrugging. Yeah. <laughs> just like, mm, I guess. That's, that's fine. I'm I'm super good at drawing arms. Six semper whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just give him a straight across mouth. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and like a sunrise. Maybe maybe a little sunset. Oh yeah, maybe a little sunset, uh, guys. That's a that's a reference to a, a previous episode of of Drawfee where we were we played Drawception and uh, you know what? Just watch it. Just watch that episode. Just watch that episode. You'll get that ref. Oh, look at that man! Oh. Oh. You may have seen old man. <laughs> 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 He's gotten drunker since that episode. It's my day off for you what I want to do. Leave me alone. The distant drunk. The distant <laughs> drunk. Distant drunk art guy. Okay, uh, moving on. Next <laughs> article. Next article. Everything and nothing. Hexocilla transferase. Well, obviously, this is a type of glycotransferase that catalyzes the transfer of hexos. Oh, boy. Uh, wow. <laughs> we, are, we got nothing. Uh, well, examples of hexosilatransferase. Okay, this will clear uh, it up. Uh, Glucuronosiltransferase, which, of course, is necessary. Oh, wait a second, though. Galactosiltransferase. <laughs> the most powerful The molecule. most powerful of all siltransferases. It transfers galactose. Maybe maybe this mailman, now that he doesn't have a post office to work for, is is transferring galactose. <laughs> <laughs> Glycos still. Okay, I like that idea. I think idea. you should draw some galactose. <laughs> it has something to do with sugar. Galactose and glucose are sugars. Yes. Yeah, if it I ends remembered in, that. If it ends in os... And it's a and it's a chemistry, um, then then it's a then it's a sugar. What, what's Wait. the name of that uh, that that villain that com Gal the comics Gal villain? Galactus. Galactus. Yes. Yeah. Galactose is his is his sweet delicious uh, baby brother. Baby brother. <laughs> sweet sweet delicious baby brother. Instead of planets, he eats candy. <laughs> Galactose. Candy, candy sized jawbreakers. So uh, he's gonna galactose hungers. <laughs> Go forth, my Harold. <laughs> uh, we're doing the uh, the movie version of of galactose. Uh, he's just a like a real dumb storm cloud because they didn't want to bother CGI animating him. Right. But uh, let's go with classic, like, Jack Kirby Galactic. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's with, definitely... With that, with that crackle, which is the sound your teeth will make when you <laughs> eat that much candy. <laughs> oh, God. Like, the, that was, like, super important in, like, early comics, that, like, this big, grand, cosmic, unknowable thing was going to go and, like, just totally fuck up New York City. Yeah. And, uh... 
It still didn't bother to like, but like he also had a big letter G on his belt. <laughs> yeah, it's like so the people of Earth will know how to what letter my name starts with before I devour them. <laughs> like a letter G the size of the Chrysler Building. Yeah. <laughs> it's like guys, maybe it's so Galactus can remember his own name. <laughs> like he's he spent so much of his time just being hungry, because I I can't imagine like eating planets is like an easy life, you know. No, no, probably not. It's probably constant. Like if I, I get I get really irritable. Like if I if I miss lunch by like <laughs> a half hour. Like imagine if you're just you're just like walking around the infinite, the infinite chasm of space. Your big naked guy in a surfboard hasn't found you shit. <laughs> yeah, and you you can't eat him because you need him to find you. Oh my god! Look at the, look at the cheeks. <laughs> Galactos is so cute. Galactos. <laughs> oh, if you thought you were galactos intolerant, prepare to feel differently. <laughs> he's got some, he's got some, some spittle. He's got some candy. He's some got some candy some stickies crumbs. on his. Oh, some he's transferring galactos. Yeah, he's taking them from town to town, <laughs> cleaning them out of candy. <laughs> this is like. This is a, this is like the. This Best. could totally be a character in the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. No. The Cosmic Postman. The Cosmic Postman. <laughs> Who has a terrible burden he must transfer her across. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Galactos hungry. <laughs> oh, hey, let's, uh, let's get some sparkles around him. Yeah. <laughs> He's a beautiful baby. <laughs> <laughs> With hands that are too big <laughs> for his body. You, know, you talk about having eyes bigger than your stomach. His his hands are bigger. How than... how could this guy be so sad carrying on this, <laughs> this cute little Galactos in his back? I mean, that postman has seen so much destruction, in his <laughs> and he's powerless. To... How do you think he lost his hand? <laughs> Galactos hungry. <laughs> he, was, he was trying to feed him. He's trying to feed him some candy. Just like a handful of nerds. And he just takes a big bite. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh, well done, Jacob. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Oh, All right. Yeah. We have yet to, I mean, I'm going to jinx it now with the next article, but we have yet to, like, bail on anything so far. Yeah, this is this has been uh, If we can this make this one good. work, we can make anything yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, Here we go. What's Hubris what? is high. Savand Dam. Uh, Jean Claude Van Damme's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Jean Claude Savan Dam. Uh, the Savan Dam was a planned dam in Fars Province, Iran, named after the nearby town of Savan, loca- located northwest of Shiraz. Ooh, classy. Ooh. <laughs> it has become the center of worldwide concern due to the flooding it will cause in historical and archaeologically rich areas of ancient Persia. Much like Jean Claude. <laughs> 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 Jean Claude, no, please, we beg you. He's, he's, this is an archaeologically rich area, Jean Claude. Don't do this. Um, uh, it uh, may cause harm to UNESCO World Heritage Sites of Persepolis and Pasargade. Whoops. Totally. Yep. Uh, so, I guess I need to draw Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, I well, mean, his brother. His brother, <laughs> who, is, who is a dam. So it's like uh, it's like a real strong. Di- what do dams yeah. look like? They're like big they're like, walls like walls with walls water, water on one them. side. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, that's what they. That's what they look like. They look like them big them big walls with water. All right. So it's like it's like that, and then like they got like these things, kind of. Yep. And there's water. The water sort of sort of comes out. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, man, all this talk about <laughs> Persia makes me you want... You could do a dry, like a dam with no water coming out of it if you want. Oh, to. yeah. Just a big wall. You just have to show that there's water behind it. Yeah, yeah, or okay. Or else it's just a wall. And, and we'll related it's to famed dam- Brussels dams- action star Jean-Claude Dams Van Damme. are basically, they're, they're, giant, they're giant above ground pools. Uh, let him have this one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like despite looking at the pictures, he doesn't really get what a dam is yet. <laughs> Who's 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 that talking in the distance? Is it is it is it Captain Sunset? <laughs> you know, you're trying to draw a dam, but you know, let, let Nathan draw what, whatever way he wants. 
It could be whatever reality he wants to create. <laughs> Maybe in his world, dams are just above ground pools. Right? You know what? That's fair. Yeah. Right, that's fair, distant drunk. Gonna, gonna draw a sunset just for you. Aww. That's a beautiful sunset. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful I'm sunset. Go now. Right, bye. bye. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't say that till the end. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh man, <laughs> that's a good dam. It, is, it, is. it does look like a big above ground pool, though. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but he's John Claude Van Dams. So he's got a muscly. He's, he's, he's got a muscly. He's got to have like one muscle arm. He needs mm-hmm. to have a, a kick and foot. Yeah, he needs or to be do, doing a he split. He needs to be doing a split. <laughs> he yeah. needs to be doing like a real muscular split. <laughs> so this is why the postman is so bummed. Oh yeah, he's come. He's come across this. There's no getting around this. This is definitely this is this is a crossover event within the Drawfee universe. Yeah. Whose will be done? The dam, or the postmaster? And he's got the the Sivand Dam. <laughs> Jean Claude Van Dam's damn brother. <laughs> from from Iran. Look at that butt. Yeah. Uh, you gotta have a good butt if you're doing the splits all the time. I mean, you That's need true. glutes if you have to hold back the ocean itself. Yeah, it's, it's through only the flexing of his glutes. <laughs> I feel like that's act, that's like an ancient myth. It's like, <laughs> have I ever told you the legend of Savan Dam? <laughs> we only get to live here because his mighty glutes hold back the sea, <laughs> and his muscly arm holds up the heavens. <laughs> See, is that like? Is this like in the distance? I guess this is in in the distance, but he's like seeing it, and there's like a giant. Yes, that's the problem with what's happening here perspective <laughs> he's, got, he's got a giant he's got a giant candy cane and uh and, oh, and galactose galactose wants it. wants it and he's got to he's got to somehow scale this giant dam and the dam it's not like the dam's gonna go willingly either no he's gonna be throwing kicks throwing punches uh, you know what this dam flexing glutes you know in uh expendables 2 uh jean-claude van damme's character is just named villain Really? Is it really? Yeah, like uh, sometimes they'll pronounce it as villain, <laughs> but like a lot of times they'll just act as being like villain, villain, <laughs> villain's got the troops upstairs. We gotta stop him. <laughs> he also roundhouse kicks a hunting knife into someone's chest. Oh yeah, he that's, does. That's the, the, the knife is in the, his chest. They're just sort of holding it there. Yeah, it's it's not just anyone's chest. It's it's a uh, it's it's Thor's younger brother, handsome baby Hemsworth. Handsome baby Hemsworth. Oh, that is also the second law in my town. No Hemsworths. No <laughs> Hemsworths. I don't need that kind of competition. <laughs> I don't think they'd, you know, they they wouldn't be into SWAT cats anyway. You, you know that's just going to make them want to go there more. <laughs> exactly. You can't keep a Hemsworth out who wants to get in. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> You're going to be swarming with Hemsworths before the day is through. Every morning I have to clear my Hemsworth traps. Because <laughs> I put some Vegemite on like a bait. <laughs> yeah. Well... Wow. You're going to have Chris Hemsworth, Liam Hemsworth, Jarvis Hemsworth. <laughs> and, of course, Skippy O. Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that muscly dam. That's a that's a muscly dam with a beautiful sunset and giant candy cane and a uh, real sad man. I think we learned something today. I think... I think we did. No, we didn't. That's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> if All right. you did, then you have to leave. <laughs> Guys, dams are above ground pools... Uh, you could you can buy unincorpor- unincorporated towns are not part of America. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. And uh, galactose hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Three lessons. Guys, uh, this has been Wicked Roulette. Thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by on our our knowledge journey into into the internet. We're very sorry. <laughs> <laughs>